Hi there, I'm Pastor Simon Fensom, and thank you for joining us for this Wednesday evening feature, Oh, the Places God Goes. This past Saturday, our congregation, Trinity Lutheran Church in downtown Moorhead, along with Lutheran Campus Ministries of Concordia College, MSUM, and NDSU, we led a march in our community to bear witness to the brutal realities of gun violence across our nation. Tens of thousands of people have been demonstrating across the United States. But we begin here with the massive protests across the country against gun violence following the massacre in Uvalde, Texas. Trinity Lutheran Church and Moorhead take a stand against gun violence by marching from Moorhead to Fargo with the Lutheran Campus Ministry of Concordia College, MSUM and NDSU. And I'm proud to say we had a great turnout, both for the march and for the service of lament which followed. And I guess it was about over 200 people who participated in both those events that day, which was a lot more than the 50 I was anticipating on such a beautiful Saturday afternoon in June. Yes, it was a gorgeous day and very hot when the sun was not hidden behind the clouds. So it probably didn't help that I was wearing a black clergy shirt and a black pair of pants with a t-shirt over the top of all that, or that 1.8 miles is a long way when you've got feet like mine. But hey, I probably lost a few pounds, so uh, that was a win. But yes, a great day, a great turnout. And as I marched, I couldn't help but think about our theme for these Wednesday nights this summer, Oh, the Places God Goes, because a protest march isn't the first place I'd think of where one would encounter God. Yet God was very present throughout. And I want to share with you some of the holy conversations that I experienced that day, before, during, and after the march and the service of lament. The first happened before we even set off. An older couple who traveled three hours by car from central North Dakota. They came up and introduced themselves to me and thanked me. They were so grateful that Trinity was hosting the march. And I thanked them for coming and asked if they were staying the weekend. Oh no, said the wife, we drove down this morning and we'll be driving back after the service. And I made some kind of comment like, wow, you're kidding me, that's a long way to come. And they answered, no, as people of faith, this is important that we take a stand. This was the nearest march we could find, they told me. We just had to come and show our support. You will show me the way of life, granting me the joy of your presence and the pleasures of living with you forever. Then later, as we were marching, a young girl, probably around eight or nine years of age, fell in step with me and told me that this could happen at her school in Fargo. She was scared gun violence could happen at her school. And to be sure, I tried to reassure her that she did not have to be scared to go anywhere because God is always with us. God promises to be with us no matter where we go. And yes, we chatted for a while further, and she dropped back then to walk with her mother. But later that night, as I was reflecting upon the day, it hurt me to think that any child would be scared to go to school in fear of being shot. That's not something that an eight or nine-year-old should even be thinking about. I know the Lord is always with me. I will not be shaken, for he is right beside me. No wonder my heart is glad and I rejoice. My body rests in safety. There was also the mother and grandmother I met after the service of lament, who had lost a son and grandson to gun violence in our community a few years back. They too were grateful that we had held the event telling me that every time they hear about a shooting, it brings back all the memories of their own loss. It must be hard for you to be here today, I said, to which the mother replied, it will be harder not to be here. My faith in God is what keeps me going, and it strengthens my faith to know 
your church is doing this today. Keep me safe, O God, for I have come to you in refuge. I said to the Lord, you are my master. Every good thing I have comes from you. Yes, my friends, at the march, I met a transgender person who had been threatened by someone carrying a gun. I met another man whose son had been killed by a stray bullet. A mother whose young son stood beside her carrying a sign that read, Am I next? And again and again my heart was moved as they each spoke about their lives of faith and of the importance of what we were doing that day. As the psalmist reminds us, Keep me safe, O God, for I have come to you, my refuge. I said to the Lord, You are my master. Every good thing I have comes from you. The godly people in the land are my true heroes. I take pleasure in them. Troubles multiply for those who chase after other gods. I will not take part in their sacrifices or speak the names of their gods. Lord, you alone are my inheritance, a cup of blessing. You guard all that is mine. I will bless the Lord who guides me. Even at night, my heart instructs me. I know the Lord is always with me. I will not be shaken, for he is right beside me. No wonder my heart is glad and I rejoice. My body rests in safety. You will show me the way of life, granting me the joy of your presence and the pleasures of living with you forever. Oh, the places God goes.